Hi. Now let's discuss about the intersection of two sets. So as you can see, I have noted down one statement that says the intersection of two sets is a set of elements common to both sets. So suppose if I have a set A whose elements are 1, 2, 6, 9, 10, 12 and 15 and I have a set B which has multiples of 3 but less than 30. So if I list down all the multiples of 3, they will be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 and 27. 30 will not be there because I am talking about all the multiples of 3 which are less than 30. So this will be the set B. And now if I say that the set C is a set of the intersection of set A and B. This sign is the sign of intersection and this is called C is equal to A intersection B. Then the element of this set will be all the elements of set A and B which are common in both the sets, right? So here if we see we have a 6 in set A and we have a 6 in set B. We have a 9 in set A and we have a 9 in set B. Then we have 12 over here and we have a 12 in set B. Then 15 is there and 15 is here also, right? So these are the four elements which are common in both set A and B. So all these four elements will be the part of their intersection set. Right? So A intersection B will be 6, 9, 12 and 15. These are the elements which are there in both the sets and that is why they are in the set of their intersection also. And how do we represent it using Venn diagram? Let me represent the set A in green. So let's assume that this green circle represents the set A and let's assume that this orange circle represents the set B. So the elements common to both the sets will be written over here which is the overlapping area of both the circles. So we'll have 6 over here, we'll have 9, we'll have 12 and we'll also have 15 over here. And all the other elements which are in the set A will be written in this area, right, which is not overlapping with set B. So they will be 1, 2, 10, and that's all. All the other elements are there in set B also so that is why they are coming in this overlapping area. Right? And then we have to write all the elements of set B which are not there in this overlapping area. So those elements will be 3, then we'll have 18, then we'll have 21, 24 and 27. These will be the elements which are not there in set A and there in set B, right? Then this area, this area is called the area of intersection and this actually represents A intersection B. So this is how we represent intersection and of course if you want you can draw a rectangle around this to represent the universal set, right? So this rectangle will represent the universal set the circle in green representing the set A and the circle in orange represents the set B and this grey area which is the overlapping area of both the circles actually represent the A intersection B which is nothing but the set of elements which are common in both set A and set B. So this is the definition of intersection and this is how we represent intersection using Venn diagram. And in next video we are going to talk about the cardinal number of union and intersection together. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.